Seconds and 20 stages for round three of the World Rally Championship and it marked the WRC's second visit to Rally Croatia. Heavy rain overnight and foggy conditions forced all the WRC runners to opt for the full wet tyre for the morning loop with championship leader Kalirov and Pera first into the stage and while the Finn was making his way through it was all kicking off behind. First in the wars was British driver Gus Greensmith. He was extremely lucky to get away with this excursion up the bank. He still finished the first stage fifth fastest, albeit 25 and a half seconds off the pace. Yeah, I mean, it felt okay, and I was like trying to find a rhythm, but time's not there, so. It was a terrible start to the rally for Esa Pekalapi. The Finn clipped the rock in his Toyota Yaris, taking the right front corner off the car. His day was done. Meanwhile, teammate Elvin Evans, who was showing strong initial split times, picked up a puncture and dropped a minute and 20 seconds. Back up at the front, though, Rovan Pera set the early pace, 4.1 seconds quicker than Thierry Neuville in second. The grip is really low. Uh, the tire is not really working at all at any point, and, uh, and there is fog and everything. So, really big challenge, but yeah, we are safely through, so that's the, that's the main point. Stage two and third place Craig Breen overshot this left-hander and drove up a bank to avoid collecting a water hydrant. By the time he'd stopped, reversed and got going again, over 20 seconds had slipped away. Oik Tanak in his Hyundai was waiting in the wings and the Estonian moved up to third overall. Unfortunately, uh, left corner had tightened up, put a bit of mud on it. Um, I, I could have made it, I could have just fired it in, but there was a curb on the outside and I just chose to go straight on. Into stage three and Elvin Evans was determined to start clawing back the time he lost with that early puncture. He secured his first stage win of the rally but remained down in eighth overall. M Sports' Adrian Formo joined Lappi on the list of retirements. 200 metres into the stage, he was caught out on some standing water and aquaplaned off the road. His day was over. It was a mega drive from Rovan Pera though, capitalising on a clean road position and leading the crews back to service, 12 and a half seconds clear of Hyundai's Thierry Neuville, with Tanak in third, 1.9 ahead of Craig Breen. I was quite comfortable in the car in the morning in the tricky condition and for sure our starting place has been good also, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, we have been quite much faster than the guys behind, so maybe the starting place is not the only thing helping us though. So into the afternoon and it was a bad start for Thierry Neuville who once again suffered starting issues with his Hyundai. An alternator belt was the culprit this time. He was forced to push the car back into service and he picked up a 40 second penalty. Gus Greensmith remained in the wars. A front right puncture in stage five and a trip up the bank on six cost him precious time and he dropped down to eighth. But the punctures kept on coming and by the end of the day the front left was entirely off the rim and he was carrying a drive shaft issue. Meanwhile, Neuville and Tanak were now in their own inter-team battle for second. In the foggy conditions, it was the Estonian who moved ahead of the Belgian by the end of stage six. Uh, in the middle was very bad visibility, so we tried to push a bit there where we couldn't see, but, but uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's still... Today it's too hard to, to fight with the guys at the front, but uh, I think so far we've been in a good rhythm, so uh, no, I'm quite okay with that. Neuville wasn't done yet though, and a win on the final stage of the day saw the Belgian reclaim second overall ahead of Tanak in third, with Craig Breen in fourth. But up at the front, and with six stage wins today, Calais Rovampera is firmly in control of Rally Croatia. His overnight lead over a minute clear of Thierry Neuville. It's been really nice, uh, of course. Uh, it was uh, quite a big, uh, big job today, I have to, be, uh, have to be happy for sure. I was uh, a bit surprised that even on the, on the second pass we can still uh, be in really good pace. And, uh, and yeah, tomorrow will be still a uh, long and tricky day, so we just have to continue like this. But yeah, it was nice, I enjoyed in the car and, and the challenge was really good. The Finn has done the hard work today, but another eight tricky stages lie in wait on day two. Staying out of trouble and avoiding punctures is the key to success here in Croatia. Let us know who you think is going to get the job done this weekend and we do it all again tomorrow.